Today I'm going to be fixing a self-induced oil leak from when I did the power upgrades on the 7.3 2002. I removed the oil pressure, low pressure oil pump pressure sensor and when I screwed it back in I grabbed a big crescent wrench, tightened it down and stripped the threads on the housing here. So we have a oil leak coming out of here. At first I thought it was the high pressure oil pump leaking, but then upon closer examination, while the motor was still hot, I could see all the oil was flowing from here, and the oil in the valley was looking super clean, and it was completely dry before all of this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pull off the high pressure oil pump reservoir cover. We're going to remove this bolt here, which I've already loosened. We're going to remove this plate, which holds the fuel lab pressure regulator for the regulated return, which I just upgraded to. And we're going to do a helicoil repair in this. So I'm going to pull this off here and then join up with you guys again. We got the lid off to cover off the high pressure oil pump reservoir. You can see we drained it down. When you take off the cover, the bolts go all the way through and hold this piece on too. So you want to hold this piece down while you pry off the cover and what I found it worked really well was just putting a little razor blade in between there. Here's the gasket that was on there. Just putting a little razor blade between that and that while I held down the cover with my hand and then just prying up and popping that free. So now I've got a new one of these from Riff Raff, so that'll be replaced and this here is the hole that we're fixing with the heat coil you can see most of the threads are gone on that thing so let's take it over to the bench and fix it all right we're over here at the bench I got it cleaned up a little bit and here's the Healy coil repair kit this is for 7 16 number 20 threads and what comes with this kit is six Healy coils and the tools to install them. So this is the tap. It's a special kind of tap because the outside of the threads are a different pitch than the inside so that they can alternate where they are and you can get the exact same threads when this gets installed again. So, and the 7 16 by 20 is talking about the inside threads. So whichever size of threads you stripped out, that's the size of Healy coil kit you need to order. And then right here, it'll tell you drill bit size diameter, 29 64 So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this over to the drill press and drill a 29 hole through here. Then take this tap, I'll put it in the handle, and we'll tap this hole. And every so often you want to turn, and then turn it back just a little bit, so that way you relieve the threads it's removing. And I'm keep keeping quite a bit of pressure on this to make sure I'm not stripping out threads as I generate them because this is soft aluminum. And there are the new threads. So here's the Healy coil right here, and I tri trimmed off two rings of it because I didn't need the full depth of it, and I'm just estimating based on how deep the hole is. So this little driver right here is the thread size and the thread pattern of the strip tool. So the way this works is that little piece, I don't know if you can see that, goes through here and catches on that to wind it in. 
then you'll notice this just slips on here right now because the threads have to be spaced and stretched to fit in. Then that's where this little tool comes in because you push the helicoil through here and compress it right in the end down here. Then it has to thread through there. So I'm gonna start turning this by hand and then I'm gonna to have to grab this tool to give myself a little more leverage. And start threading it through. Now, as it comes out this side, right here, you can see it's nicely spaced on the little guide. Then you take this piece that you're going to screw into and you set it right on there and you start threading it on like so. You can see we're getting close to the end. You want to make sure that this thing is lower than the finished surface of your material. I'm peek taking a peek under here. You can see I didn't quite get it trimmed short enough. That's okay. I can run it all the way through if I don't like how it's sitting. But as it sits right now, I think I'll just take this screwdriver out and t check it out. And, uh, or the little driver out here and see how it's sitting and see if that's how I like it. And there's the threads in there. Then that little tang right there, if you can see, there's a little nick right there. You can just twist that off with needle nose pliers. And there you've got. And I decided to use a flat punch instead to snap this off, or at least try that first. That's what the instructions say. Some people say you can snap them off with needle nose too, but it's flexing quite a bit, so. Is that a try? Just like that. We have some threads again. Look how sweet that is. Took me a couple tries because one time I forgot the Loctite. That was the first time I showed you guys. So I redid it, put the Loctite in there, and then I sank the Healy coil too far and the O ring was sitting below the surface. So I redid it. That time I got it just perfect. And check it out. It ought to be pretty awesome. So now we'll put this back on the truck. We are going to give the Loctite 24 hours to cure. And then we'll start it up again. Now this is 242 Loctite that I used. So I cleaned everything really good with acetone. If I had some 243, I probably still would have, but 242 is really picky. As we put this back on the truck here and torque it down, all five of these top bolts, the two with head studs, and then that one, that one, and the one hiding behind the heater line, they all get torqued to 18 foot pounds or 216 inch pounds if that's what your wrench goes to. So that's what we're doing right now. They're, these three are 10 millimeter, and the two with studs on them are half inch. Great. So those are all snugged up. I'm gonna wait for 24 hours before I put oil back in this reservoir and fill it up. But I am going to put the three star screws on that side and the three star screws on this side back in. Sitting over here on the battery. And I'm not going to worry about any torque specs for these. I'm just going to tighten them down. Snug. They're just to hold the top to the reservoir. These pieces, these bolts, if you remember, they go all the way through. It's been 24 hours. Got the engine oil pressure sensor installed. Got the pigtail back on. Got all the tools out of the engine bay. We're ready to start this thing up. Not C 
seeing any oil squirting out, so that's a good thing, I guess. Let's go take a look. Well, so far so good. Came back in here so you guys can uh, actually hear me, hopefully. I'm gonna give it a drive and uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And hopefully that was the fix to the problem that I created.